Hello everybody and welcome to another awesome Haiti video. My name is Jennifer and here on YouTube I go by Gizmo Spike. So in today's video I am going to complete my sanctuary puzzle book again um, because I am about to complete the two gorillas and yes I am going to complete both of them. So as you'll see my puzzle book over here is jumping which means that I have at least one animal has been completed in my puzzle book and I actually have two animals that are completed. I have completed both gorillas. So I completed the first gorilla about five weeks ago and instead of going over and unlocking the gorilla and placing him in the sanctuary, I decided that I would wait until I had both of the gorillas. I don't really know why I decided to do that, but I decided that I would wait until I had both of the gorillas unlocked and then place them both in the same time in my sanctuary and then lock them together. So let's click over on my puzzle book and let's unlock my gorilla. All right, so as you can see, they're both completed. I have the silverback gorilla and the brown gorilla. Um, I think the silverback gorilla is really cute. I like that he's kind of blue looking. So in order to get the gorillas in my sanctuary, I need to place the gorilla house to get the animals. So I'm gonna X out of my book there. And I don't have a lot of space here in my sanctuary. There's a lot of decorations. Not decorated that great but we don't really have a lot of land here so um i i know that most of us don't want any more land uh, in the game but to be honest i would actually really 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 love to get some more land over here in the town and the sanctuary now i don't want it to have any permits attached to it or anything like that i want it to just be opened with just regular land stuff i want to be able to just open it with some mallets and some deeds and some stakes. I don't want to have to, you know, like collect any expansion permits because we all know that expansion permits are basically a nightmare and most of us will be, you know, taking three years in order to open up all of our land with those expansion permits. So I would like some more land over here, but just needing the regular land stuff. I mean, I guess it would be okay to have some maps if you needed some maps to open up some land, but please, no expansion permits. All right, so let's go in and let's get the house and we'll place the house and then I will get the gorillas. So it has, ooh, then that's interesting though. Um, I like how it says home for four gorillas on there. I did not know that, so. Are we gonna be getting some babies? I hope so, I hope so. I hope in the next update, that would be pretty cool if we got some baby gorillas. All right, this is basically the only spot that I have here open. So I'm just gonna, it's kind of crowded, but we're just gonna place, and here they come. Now, is it gonna be one at a time or both together? All right, so there's the silverback gorilla. And Mr. Elephant, you really need to move out of the way there. So feed your sanctuary animals, but can't move my animals here. <laughs> I can't tap on it. There we go. All right, so my silverback's gonna run around. He's gonna come back. He's gonna go to sleep, we're gonna wake him up. And then I'm gonna have to probably expand or upgrade the house. So let's tap on this and then let's upgrade the animal house. Yep, upgrade to get more animals. The more animals you have, the more fun they have. Or the more animals you add, the more fun they have. So here comes the brown gorilla. Kinda of would've been cool if they both floated down out of the air, like one after the other, but. And here is my brown gorilla, so let's feed her. We'll have to see what the animations are. She's gonna run around, she's gonna run back, and then go to sleep, and oh, she looks really cute sleeping though. And then let's wake her up, and I am, oh, apparently I completed the farm pass goal as well, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna refeed. 
I don't have a lot of wheat bundles, so I can't feed everybody right now. Sorry, guys. Now, of course, when you get a new animal, when you unlock a new animal in the sanctuary, it also comes with new decorations. So as you can see that there's the number four over here in the left-hand part of my screen, which means that I have four new decos waiting for me because each new animal always comes with two new decorations. So let's open up here. Let's go on in here. All right, so as you can see right here, and what I love about um, this, when you unlock a new animal, it's pretty awesome that Haiti gives you, always gives you the first decoration for free, which is really nice. This way, if it costs, you know, vouchers, you get to save your vouchers or your coins. Um, we've got the bitter aloe. Let's just place that right there. That's actually really awesome. Okay, and that costs 5,000 coins and it's gonna go up in price every time you uh, buy a new one. So I think it's 500 coins every time you buy a new one. Then we have the African violets. Oh, I love those. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm gonna be doing such awesome decorations. Ooh, I'm so excited. And that costs one purple voucher and five green. And I have a ton of vouchers, so that's actually great. I'd rather spend vouchers than coins because I have so many vouchers and I don't really know what to do with them. Then we have the African lily. That's also super, super, super pretty. And then we have the pin cushion protea. I think I'm saying that correctly. Well, these are awesome. Let's get a nice little zoom out of the four new. I think that the African violets are my favorite. I actually like how small they are and I, I they're really, really pretty. African violets are actually my favorite flower in real life. So it would make sense that African violets would be my favorite flower in the game. But the decorations are great. I actually think that the sanctuary decorations are some of the best decorations in the entire game. They're by far my favorite, I think. Um, except for the, what I call the fancy dirt, which is the, like the dirt trails um, and the water ditches. But if we're look, talking about like a florally deco or something, definitely 100% the sanctuary decorations are my favorite. So now I have both of my gorillas and maybe next update we will get baby gorillas. That would actually be pretty awesome because I think that these gorillas could use some family members. My silverback is hiding back here. Let's see if I can see what animation. I'm going to move this for a second. See if I can. All right. So he kind of stands up and pounds his chest. Very gorilla-like. Let's see what the brown one does if they have a different animation. Okay. Well, I can't move any of my... <laughs> There's so much going on here. Oh! Oh, that's so cute when you tap on the brown gorilla. Bananas just fall from the sky, apparently. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And she really loves those bananas. Love it. I love all the animations. All of the sanctuary animals have their own little unique animations, if you guys don't already know that, so. All right, well, my sanctuary is complete. Again, for like the, I don't even know, sixth time, something like that. And I am sure that we will have more animals added in the future, which I'll have to complete my sanctuary again. And I'm totally fine with that. Um, I like more animals, but like I said, we definitely 100% need more land in the sanctuary. So heyday, if you're listening, if you're watching, please give us more land in the sanctuary. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments below if you have both of your gorillas, one of your gorillas, really close to getting your gorillas. Um, let me know if you have all of your animals as well. And if you do, what is your favorite decoration from the new sanctuary decos? Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Remember, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, that it is free to subscribe to a channel on YouTube, but it will make me very, very happy. So go ahead and hit that beautiful red subscribe button. And if you're going to purchase some diamonds in the shop, I would appreciate it if you would use code Gizmo. 
Please use my code in the shop if you buy stuff. It really does help to support us. Use code G-I-Z-M-O. Happy farming. Weedy in his life. Peace. It's heyday, it's heyday, it's heyday, so come and play.